Hi, welcome back to the Amoretti Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a strawberry pie and I'm going to put it in a pecan crust. I'm going to use some of Amoretti's pecan flour, some graham cracker crumbs, and then I'm going to put some of our orange zest into the filling. Let's get started. So I'm going to make the crust. First thing I'm going to do is butter this pan a little bit. Just smear some of that on there and then wipe it off a little bit so that it's not too much butter in there. You just want to coat it nicely. All right, so this is the pecan flour and some of our graham cracker crumbs, a little bit of AP flour, the sugar, and some butter. It takes a little bit of work pressing this crust into the pan because it's kind of delicate. So just be patient when you're working with it. It will come together. All right, I think that's good. So just start pressing it down and work it up the edges. This is not a deep dish pie. You can use a deep dish pie, but I'm not today. So I'm gonna put my thumb on the edge here as I'm pressing up just to form it a little bit and it will drop down, but if you keep pressing, it will come together and stay. All right, I'm going to bake this in a 350 oven. That looks good. And while it's cooling, we'll make the filling. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to combine the cornstarch and the sugar together before we do any cooking because I want the sugar and this cornstarch to be thoroughly combined. This way you don't get any lumps. So. Just put these together first, give it a good whisk. Make sure it's really mixed together. It's the same thing when you're making custard and you have cornstarch in it, if you use it, mix it with the sugar first, then you don't get any lumps. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to pour some of the berries into the pot, not all of it, just about half. Some lemon juice and the cornstarch and sugar. And this is just going to come to a boil. I'm going to heat it for about three or four minutes while it thickens. All right, so this is cooked for about four minutes and it's nice and thick. So I'm going to add the rest of the berries to this. And we will add the compound. This is the strawberry compound. This is going to boost the strawberry flavor. It's really good. And just a little bit of our orange zest oil. This is gonna complement that strawberries. And that's it, now your filling is done. It's pretty simple. You can use fresh strawberries. I've used frozen strawberries that I have defrosted and drained. It's important to drain them. You don't want too much liquid in this. All right, so we can just put it into the crust that is cooled. That's beautiful. All right, all this has to do now is chill overnight and it will set and then we'll decorate it. All right, so this has chilled overnight and it's looking beautiful. I'm gonna make some whipped cream to top it because what isn't good with whipped cream on it? I don't know. I think everything is better with a little bit of whipped cream. So some little sugar and some of our vanilla. I'm going to heat a spoon because I want to put some canals of whipped cream on there. So let's get this a little warm. You could just pipe some whipped cream on here, but it's kind of nice to see the little decoration of a canal. It's so easy to do. Your cream has to be firm. You can use some hot water, dip your spoon in some hot water. That will also work. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Amoretti. See you next time.